In a previous video, I showed you how to track text to make it look like it was part of your scene. Today, I'll be going one step further, and I'll be showing you how to make text appear behind objects. Today's video tutorial is rated 3 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. Before we start this video, I'd like to remind you of the Shiny Films 15K short film competition, which has over $500 in prizes, and the deadlines are due by the 5th of January 2018. I'm also announcing that the competition's rules have updated. A lot of people have complained to me that the entry limit is too short. While I still encourage you to create 30 second long entries, you can now create videos up to 5 minutes long. However, if it's over 2 minutes, it has a very low chance of winning. Anyway, back to the tutorial. There are two ways that I'm going to show you how to do this text. The first is this manual rotoscoping shown here, where text appears behind another object. As you can see in this example here, the text disappears as this woman walks in front of it. We're going to create a similar thing by making this text appear from behind this pole over here. So I'm going to go to the point in the video just before it becomes visible, round about here. I'm going to shorten it, just because I feel like it and it's cleaner, but it's not necessary. Then I'm going to select my clip, then click on the freehand mask tool. If your shape is very rectangular or elliptical, you can use some of those masks, but just to show you how it works, I'm going to show you the freehand mask tool. A mask is a selection that tells the text where it should be visible. I'm going to start a point up here just by clicking on it, and then finish the point down here. This outlines the edge of the pole where we want the text to be visible. If your shape is of a person or some more complicated object, then you're going to have to create multiple points around that shape. I'm going to zoom out using the scroll wheel, click a point over here, over here, and then click up on the original point to close up the path. I'll go back to scale to fit. You'll notice that the text has now disappeared. I'm now going to go into the mask properties, and I'm going to go onto transform. And then I'm going to hit the circle next to position, which will animate keyframing. Now I'm going to go one frame forward, or a couple of frames forward, and I'm just going to adjust the position value so that the line stays on that pole's edge. I'm going to go forward a couple of frames again. By the way, I'm using the keyboard shortcuts full stop and comma to go forward frame by frame. And I'm just going to drag the value in again. I'll repeat this process until all of the text is visible. When we play back through our footage, you can see that the text is revealed behind the pole. You can see your keyframes if you open up here. You can see all the different position keyframes where the value has been saved. If the shape of the object that your text appears behind changes over time as well, you might need to animate the path and adjust the points as you're going along. Now you can adjust the edge because you can notice that it's actually quite a sharp edge at the moment. So I'm just going to go back to my normal viewer tool just because it's easier. Then I'm going to go into the shape and adjust stuff like feather strength, which blurs out the edge. So that's it for this example of rotoscoping the text into frame. Next, we're going to have a look at harder examples such as this. In this example, I want the text dedication to appear behind the subject. However, this is easier said than done, because if I wanted to use the same method as last time to manually mask out this entire 30 second clip would have some very serious issues. It would take ages and be very inaccurate. So for more complex examples like this where it takes too long or it's too inaccurate to rotoscope like we did before, we can use some luminance tricks to help us. In this shot, the sun is a backlight and the figure in the front is kind of a silhouette. This is really helpful because we can use the light here to separate the subject from the background. To show you what I mean, I'm just going to hide the text layer and use the threshold effect to show you how we can create a mask using the luminance. The threshold effect turns everything to black or white. You can adjust the threshold to kind of adjust well, the threshold of the mask. As you can see, it's not perfect as he's not completely separated from the background. But you can see it kind of is good enough to create a basic mask from. I'm just going to delete the threshold effect, and now we're going to key out this guy properly. I'm going to select the layer and press Command D on my Mac or Control D on a PC to duplicate it. Then I'm going to search for the luminance key effect. Just drag that onto the top layer. 
You can't see anything at first, that's because the original is below it, so just hide it to see what it's done. Open up the controls in the effects panel here, and in the key type, we want to key out the brighter parts, so we still have the silhouette remaining. Adjust the threshold so that more stuff is keyed out. If it suits your clip, you can also adjust tolerance to kind of blur out the edges and to blur out the amounts that are keyed out. I usually set at least a very low tolerance. So you can see, even in this clip, it's not really that perfect. So what we're going to have to do is create a mask. I'm just going to grab an elliptical mask and drag it around our figure here. I'll show the bottom layer, show the text, and put my text below this keyed out layer and see what it looks like. It looks pretty good, but you can still see some of the clouds over here. So I'm just going to adjust my mask to fit. Once I've done adjusting all of my settings, I'm just going to add a new grade just to make it feel right. That's an easier, lazier way to do it if you're not bothered to rotoscope out an entire section of your clip. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, then please hit the like button and comment and share this video with your friends. Also, subscribe for more content just like this. I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.